own business and being your own boss are the dreams that many people have. But in order to make these dreams a reality, it requires serious planning and the use of proven business techniques. Elizabeth Weska has the report. Some of the keys to developing a successful business are an innovative mind, a healthy dose of common sense and resourcefulness. In addition, starting your own business can require lots of hard work and sacrifice. Before you decide to operate a business, determine if you have the emotional and financial resources as well as the physical stamina a business requires. Then ask yourself, what are my qualifications, motivations, and objectives? Am I a good leader and organizer? Do I really believe in this product or service? What are the downside risks? And what is my industry's future economic outlook? It's also important to learn from others in the business what it will take to succeed in your field before you decide to take what will be one of the greatest challenges in your life. It's very important to think about who you are and the kind of lifestyle that you want. Uh, do you have the energy that it takes and the dedication to commit yourself uh, to a field of work that takes hours and hours and hours every day? And do you have friends and family or financial resources to make available? And I think finally it requires a willingness to do homework. There are three types of businesses you can form. A sole proprietorship in which the individual assumes total liability, a partnership in which two or more people act as a joint proprietorship, and a corporation, a separate legal entity. Do your homework to decide which one meets your needs. If you decide to buy an existing business, first evaluate the company's product or service. Determine the value of all assets and cash flow. Investigate the management's reputation and the legal aspects of the venture. If you're going to start your own business, you can start small. Buying a business requires extraordinary cash. Uh, it also requires a real ability to assess that business or franchise that you might be looking into. A business plan is invaluable in proving to yourself and your associates that your company has strong profit potential. And it's essential if you are looking for funding. All plans should include an outline of the company's purpose, strategy, and product line, then a marketing feasibility study, sales projection, and a market plan. Also needed are financial statements, cash flow projections, production, and expansion plans. Be concise, be precise about uh, what your business is, where you think it should be in five years, and it's very critical to update that business plan as you go along. Um, no one can follow a business plan uh, exactly, but the point is, it is a road map and it will guide you on your way to your success. Another important aspect of starting a business is being able to make important administrative and managerial decisions. You must honestly analyze your skills and expertise in this area and then hire others who are qualified to offset any deficiencies you may have. Remember, entrepreneurs who try to do it all will have a hard time growing. I think a uh, small business administration survey shows that 98% of businesses that fail do so not because of undercapitalization, although that's a major factor, but poor management. You will need assistance from an accountant and an attorney to run a business. You can find these professionals through other business associates or networking events. You should interview these professionals concerning their expertise, fees, and check client references. As for hiring competent personnel, determine your job requirements, interview applicants, verify job and communication skills, as well as a willingness to learn, provide a policy manual, encourage employee involvement, and reward with salary increases and promotions. Hiring employees is a difficult task for any small business person. Um, Often small business owners are very focused on their product or service, but not on managing a business. And they really have to begin to think of uh, their particular product or service as a business to be managed and hiring someone uh, who will support that. It's very difficult to protect an idea, but a product or service can be protected. Here's how. A copyright protects the publishing and distribution of a particular work. A patent for 17 years protects the sale and use of an invention. A trademark protects a mark, symbol, or design which is affixed to a product. Remember, it's also your responsibility to protect and meet the needs of your customers and colleagues. Building goodwill is very important. I think small businesses have a lot of flexibility, much more than a, an established corporate business, um, and can respond to the needs of its local market 
much more quickly, uh, much more ably, and that that's a critical issue. A successful business venture which practices integrity and forward thinking will enhance and enrich our entire society. But remember, to achieve this lofty position requires a firm understanding of why businesses fail, as well as how they succeed. This is Elizabeth Weska for In the Black. With increased burdens being placed on the family structure daily, it's always refreshing to find couples who have been able to successfully combine a business and marriage relationship. Pat and Lionel Duncanson have just that type of partnership, and G. Keith Alexander has the story. In the world of business, as in life, competition is a constant challenge. But Duncanson Electric is one company that's proving a positive personal philosophy coupled with a strong business acumen can lead to remarkable achievements. This multi-million dollar electrical contracting company has come a long way since opening in 1977. They have provided power and light to housing developments, city college, and the Port Authority. Recently, I met with the owners to discuss their current projects. We're doing uh, electrification of uh, various subway tunnels, for example, uh, bridges. We're doing lighting, necklace lighting on bridges and other power requirements. Uh, we are uh, putting in uh, power and lighting in places such as uh, the convention center in the uh, New York area. When it comes to bringing certain attributes to their business, Pat Duncanson says she has a natural ability for leadership while Lionel Duncanson takes great pride in being a quality control administrator. I'm the field person. I'm the person that is uh, responsible for operations and I make things go. Uh, we will do our, an estimate on the job. I will determine what kind of job is best suitable for our company and the type of personnel that we have that we can use for this type of work. And uh, on that with all of these parameters, I will make a decision as to whether or not it's a practical job for us, whether or not we can make money on it. I have a knack for organization, um, for jumping into things that are somewhat confused, such as construction sites might be on occasion, um, and just making order out of it. So I use um, these natural attributes in our business as well. Mrs. Duncanson, let's talk about your marriage and how it helped the business. I think that um, one of the advantages is that we have uh, common goals. As a matter of fact, Lionel made a joke a couple of years into our business about the fact that business being so hectic, we probably would have had a very stressful marriage had we not been both involved. Lionel and Pat Duncanson have worked extremely hard to build a business while raising a family. They feel that their faith has been a major strength and inspiration. I think that um, my strength and my husband's have, um, we owe it totally to our uh, basic fundamental Christian belief and our strength comes from Christ himself. And uh, as a result of that, we try to, wherever we can, let people know that it's not something that um, is only accessible to us. For those interested in career opportunities, Currently, there is a need for qualified project estimators, draftspersons, installers, and other field personnel. And the Duncansons are optimistic about the future with plans on the drawing board to expand. My plans in the future are really to uh, include my sons as they uh, get become more experienced in this field of operation. Um, I want to train them so that they can uh, become a second and third generation company because I look at some of those who have made it and uh, this is the time for us. 
Despite all the achievement awards the Duncansons have received, they feel the key to their success is respect for their family and their heritage. I think that in spite of careers and all of the other things that we must do in order to, to live uh, within this uh, economic system that we have, we cannot forget from whence we've come. And whether um, there was a lot of money in the family or not, the black race always had a, a family relationship that they could fall back on in terms of strength and uh, ability to survive. And I think that we must never forget this. Having a strong sense of pride and a determination to survive any situation has contributed to Pat and Lionel Duncanson's prospects for a bright future. I'm G. Keith Alexander for In the Black.